Come on, come in. Come on, babe. No, what, my girl? Are you all set? Yes. Oh, you're pretty too, aren't you? Hold still, going backwards. Maybe. There you go. Out here at the property. So uh, this morning, if it doesn't rain on us, I want to try to get this boat ready for Lily and I to go fishing next week. So what we've done so far, let me turn you around so you can see what we got going on. Hold on, Matt. That's Lily. Say hello, Lily. Hey, baby. Lily, why are you so dirty? Look how dirty you are. She just went to the groomer on uh, Monday. Anyways, so um, I have the I have the battery charging, and um, so that's going. I've got this thing had so there's a gas can. Um, there's two more here, so that's three, and then it has this one here four which actually has gas in it and it looks decent so that's what we're gonna go with a couple paddles there got a lot of paddles dave's a nice guy he takes good care of me so there's the main plug it goes right in here good thing not to lose um so clean it out um get it all ready Take it over, I want to take it over to, that's why it's on the ATV. Um, take it over to my neighbor. Um, she has water. And so she said I could hook up the <coughs> adapter so I can cycle water through it or while I try to run it. So you don't burn out the lower end. And I also want to get the serial number off the motor so I can download the manual on it um so i think that's the chore for this morning i'll get uh i'm gonna get this last gas can out um figure out where to stow a couple things then i'm gonna get the vacuum out and we'll vacuum everything off and uh test a couple things and uh go from there hopefully we get her going all right dave out Check out Lily's little life preserver. Isn't that the coolest thing? Huh? It's pretty awesome. So her head goes like right here. And then this goes around her body. Yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. Anyways. One thing I found, evidence of little rodents, maybe mice. So, anyways, let me take a closer look for that. As we back. I'm a 
pull this floorboard up just to make sure we've handled the mice situation. So that first I have four pegs from the door. I don't know if you guys see get a closer look. So the mouse activity that I saw was right up in here. There was that can kind of blocking it. And that's got, there was a rope there. But I don't know what's going on underneath. So, looks like if I just take these screws up, screws on the seat, take that out. I might not even have to. I might just be able to pull this out and then just take this up. That's what we'll try first. So, that's the plan. Watch out, buddy. Oop, look at that. That came out. What about you? Let's not touch you right now. Let's get these. Watch out, baby. Selling mice. I got their stuff in it. Yep. Right here, I think. Somebody's done this before. There's one's missing. <gasps> we do. Look at that, guys. Um, so, this is why I got it out. You can see right there. Mouse Hotel. So, let's vacuum all that up and put a conclusion to this part. It's good to learn how this comes up, though. That part I appreciate it. All right, hold on, Lily. I gotta get the vacuum. Why don't you get some water, baby? Come here. Let's get you some water. You're panting really hard. up here let's see if we can get this electronics to work i am sure they do pretty sure dave showed me that they did <clears throat> i just don't agree. remember for a hundred percent sure but so let's turn you guys around so it's got two it's got two fish finders and uh one's an eagle fish mark 320. The other is a Lowrance, and it's a Elite 5 DSI. Well, last time I used a fish finder um, was in the in the 90s, so I'm sure they're a little bit more advanced than what I had. But uh, let's see if we can get this one on. Let's see. It looks plugged in. So maybe, oh yeah, yeah, look at that, yep, so that looks right, yep, okay, I got it, let's turn this one off, 
Let's see if this dude turns on. Power. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep. All right, that's good. Turn that off. All right. Cool. So I think the last thing to do is to uh, take this over to my neighbor if she is there today and see if we can't uh, put some water through that motor and get it running. Hey, it's Dave. So, uh, two more things to check on this boat before we take it out. <clears throat> and tomorrow's the day. So tomorrow morning, Lily and I. So um, I want to test the trolling motor and then check the um, wheels to see the grease in the in the hubs. So if you can do those two things, hold on a minute. Let's give her a look. All right, so let's see. Let's undo this. All right. Let's turn her around. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So it works. Reverse works. All right, so yeah, that's a success. <sighs> Starting to sprinkle. I think it's supposed to rain at all today. Not that I'm complaining, but I'm pretty sure I checked the weather. What if that's a permanent seal hub? Marine grade. I'm gonna do a little research before I get too excited, I think. All right, I did a little, little looking, and it says to um, check the tire, see if it wobbles. Do you feel any play in it? So I'm gonna lift it up, do that, and then um, uh, take the tire off. Find the right one. Yeah. So, got the tire up. A little bit higher. Um, there's no play left or right. Um, the other thing it does, check to see, it's had to check to see if it's got a, a fill, but not the overfill. So let's take the tire off. I was able to find some stuff online about this trailer. Not a whole lot. I'm not sure it's the same models. And I didn't see any that were like of this kind of trailer. They had, everything was a little bit bigger. I didn't see any this small, although I went to their catalog or their manuals for their smallest trailers. Well, I'm pretty sure there's no fill thing there. Yeah, I'm not feeling anything. Not that that means a whole lot, but it's nice and tight though. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna wait till I can talk to Dave, see what he remembers, try and find specifics, but I don't see there's any issue right now. It turns really freely. Everything looks good, so I'm gonna say it's all right for the little bit of travel we gotta do. The place we put in is less than a, that's, can't be more than a mile away, so should be fine. All right, let me go do this to the other side, check it. If I find something, I'll let you see it, but. Hey, Dave, so, all right, got it all cleaned out, got rid of the mouse stuff. The uh, electronics seemed to all work. The motor ran, I took it over to my neighbor. 
and we hooked up uh, water to it. The uh, impeller worked, saw that working, and the uh, um, everything seemed to be fine with it. I need to put some grease on the propeller, and other than that, I think we're ready. So I think Lily and I will go out next week, first time on the boat, and so we'll try that, do try to do a little fishing. So uh, looking forward to that. Anyway, well, that puts a wrap to getting this thing prepped and ready. So, uh, yeah, kind of a different video, but, you know, it's kind of what I got going on. So, uh, and I've been waiting to do this forever. I want to get out early spring, but I just, I couldn't make it happen. So things just in your life go on that you can't really control. So that's the way it is. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, try to make kindness your business. I hope you have a great day. Um, and so that's it. Dave out.